All right. Yeah, so for this Tip Tuesday, we had a question about uh, how to pollinate our Echeveria flowers and also how to cross pollinate some too. So we've got a, a few varieties here. Uh, we've got Echeveria canty, Ooh. and I'm only going to show you because these guys already ha or have been pollinated before. So I just want to show you what they, the, the seed pods actually look like. So we've got Echeveria ragnoni here, and we've also got Echeveria minima. So uh, you won't find a lot of Echeveria flowering at, at the moment. They're almost finished. So springtime is the best time to get uh, most of your varieties uh, flowering, but we'll see how we go here. So I'm just using a toothbrush. That's it's not a toothbrush. Not toothbrush. <laughs> Sorry, it's uh, one of Alicia's <laughs> paintbrush. It's a we use it for painting. <laughs> <laughs> paintbrush. Sorry, not a toothbrush. Don't use a toothbrush. We well, can, but it might be a bit trickier. <laughs> so all I'm going to do, you don't have to wet it. I wouldn't wet it. Just let it, leave it nice and dry. All I'm going to do then is I'm just going to put the paintbrush into the, the flower of this Ragnoni and you'll see some yellow stuff on your paintbrush and that's pollen. So what we would do, uh, it's good to have a couple of the one, one species. So if you're just gonna stick to the one variety, so like Ragnoni for example, it's good to have a few of them. Uh, and all we're gonna do then is, I don't have any other flowers that are open on this one. So you would just go from the, the different Ragnoni plants and you just go dabbing the pollen uh, on can you jam it in if it's half open or no uh you can you, yeah <laughs> you no. could if you want but it's best to leave it open there uh where you can actually see the pollen you'll get a lot more pollen out of it okay so i'm just going to cross it just because i've got some minima open now so you're just going to grab some pollen from the ragnoni and then all i'm going to do is they're only really small as you see the stigma of the the flower and I'm just going to brush it on the stigma. So you can do that a few times. Um, so I'll just grab a bit more pollen there and then I'll, I'll pop it onto a different part of the minima flower there. So that's all you're doing really. Uh, and then, yeah, good to label it too, especially if you're crossing so you know what you've used the pollen from one plant uh, to another. And yeah, if it has worked, they will actually start to close up really quickly. Uh, and then, yeah, you'll notice that they'll start to open like this up. I'll just take this off on this canter here. So, get that out of the way. So, you'll notice here that the, once it's worked, it will close up um, just for a little while. And then the flower will actually start to open. And just in there, I don't know how, yeah, well, it's I'll zoomed in there. Moving it around, yeah. There you actually see the little seed pods and they'll start to swell. So this, it's best to let them dry out almost completely to a point where you'll start to see these pods right there, they're starting to split open. So this is a perfect time to pick off our flowers and just put it in, you can put it into a, a brown paper bag, you can put it into a uh, like a plastic sandwich bag if you like. And yeah catch those seeds because as soon as they start splitting open I've already collected a lot of flowers so um, I don't mind if I'm if I lose a few um, the, the actual seed seeds will start to fall out uh, and they're really fine it's almost like um, like sand so yeah that's all it is really so yeah all we'll do then is uh, if I can break a bit here oh yeah yeah so you start seeing some seed so you can use like a little strainer uh, when you do just to pick out all the larger chunks because you don't want the larger chunks in there because when it comes time to sowing, uh, they will go a little bit festy, these ch chunks, and then you can actually start getting fungal issues. So that's the seed there. I don't know how you can oh see it's really fine. Uh, oh, the zoom on this is not too bad. Pretty good there. Yeah, so yeah, that's all that is really. Yeah, and then good to, good to sow it almost straight away. Um, that's what I found on, on the Ebony's and the Romeo's I've done and had really good germination rates. So they can take about a few weeks to start germinating before you can really notice and they're really fine, the seedlings, as they germinate. And that's it really. Yeah, it's quite, quite easy, uh, quite fun, especially if you want to try and make your own hybrids. Uh, a lot of people are doing it. There's so much out there now and it's just a great way to experiment if there's two plants that you really like and that I'll cross pollinate the two and see what see what happens see what different variations you can get out of those two so 
yeah, hopefully you found that helpful. Um, th th that's it really. Um, I don't think there's anything else to share. It, it is quite basic. You've done it on how to sew them previously, haven't you? Uh, no, that was on the lithops. Um, is it similar? I, it is fairly similar, similar process. We can do that probably in the next spring uh, when, yeah, or when I do the canty, I suppose. I've got some, some flowers there with seeds, seed pods that need to be sewed. So you can, when you're crossing, um, you can pretty much do it with almost anything really. So you can do it with your Haworthia, uh, Graftavirias. But only yeah. Haworthia with Haworthia? Uh, yeah. You can't generally. go across. No, no, no. You can't go to a totally Echeveria. No. No. Point work. So <laughs> if you are doing uh, Haworthia, um, paintbrushes are, are, can be really hard to try and get in there because they've got quite a long tubular flower. So we actually use, we've got, you know, Pony in the paddock. So I'll just go around a couple of the trees he's scratching on and he'll leave a bit of hair on there. So grab the hair. Uh, it's nice and thick horse hair. So it's um, great to use to get, get it right down into the worthier uh, flowers and then pollinate them. So um, yeah, or you can just, you know, you can use like a little brush or a broom, just get a little strand out of that. And you can also use that too. That works well. So yeah, that's it really. Any questions, just shoot them through. Uh, keep liking, subscribing. And again, any other topics you'd like us to go through, please uh, feel free to uh, comment them and we can add them to our list. So, see you, have a good week.